In this video, we are going to see Linux ls command with examples. ls is the most used command in Linux operating systems. ls is used to get list of the files and directories from a given directory or current directory. Let's check manual of ls command. Command is man space then ls. List information about the files that is current directory by default. These are the options. Another way to get the help is ls space hyphen hyphen help. See, we have these options and this is the definition. Clear screen. Now we are going to check the list of the files. At present I am in my home directory. First command is ls. It will list all the files and folders in alphabetical order. See, it starts from b to v. Now change directory to scripts. Clear screen again. Now get the list. One directory and remaining files. Notice here ls has given the output in alphabetical order. It starts from numbers to T. T is the last alphabetical order of the file starts. The file name starts. Now if you want to reverse this information, then you ls hyphen R. Notice here before try was the last but and one two is the first file name. Here try dot sh is the first file name and one two is the last file name. So it reverse the order. One more command is ls a. It is to see all the files including hidden files. Present there are no hidden files. Now next next command is ls f. What it will do? It will append the slash after the directory name and star after script file and at the rate for the symbolic link. See for script file it added star. For directories it added slash. There are no symlinks. That's why there is no at the rate symbol. Clear screen again. Next command is ls l. This lists the output in long listing format. Like it shows whether it's a file or directory, size, modified date, time, file or folder, and owner of the file and group. See, it starts with d. D means directory. For remaining entities, they have shown only hyphen, which means those are files. And this is the username, this is the group name. And this is the size file modified date. And the output is in alphabetical order. You want to reverse this output in reverse order ls lrc. Dot sh went to up and 1 to comes down. Clear screen. Next command is ls t. It displays all files based on last modified date and time. And most recent is at top and old are at bottom. See, recent modified file name is other. And old one is try.sh. Let's run this command in long listing format. See, recent modified date is November for others directory. And old one is try.sh. Clear screen. Next command is recursive. Hyphen R means recursive. It lists the, all the files and directories including subdirectory contents also. Next command is ls lh. H means human readable format. See, the output is different from the previous one okay next command is ls hyphen hyphen what it will do it will list the current directory files in alphabetical order both ls also use the same out now next command is ls hyphen ldr it displays the recent modified files on top but when we give r it will reverse the order which means it will list the old modified date on the top and recent modified files on bottom See, this is the latest modified file and this is the old modified file name. It is complete opposite to this ls-t. Let's see the difference. See, it went up and here it comes down. Next command is ls-s. What it will do? It will displace the files and directories by size. Let's see in long listing format. See, sample dot txt size is 1644 but try.sh is 0 bytes clear the screen command is ls i what it will do it displays all files including node number these are the node, node number for each file and directories now cd to one more directory up i am present in my home directory let's verify the list of the directory now suppose if you want to get list of the files and folders from this directory without navigating to it command is ls then R2 scripts and enter. See, 
it has displayed files and folders of this directory. So in this video we have seen we can also get the files and folders of this main directory. See it contains one directory and remaining files. You want to get long listing format? Give the ls l then give the directory name. Only this one is the directory and remaining are files. And the owner is postface. This is the size and this is last modified date. These are the file names. So in this video we have seen Linux ls command with examples. For more Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.